Hi, I'm Jessica Henlow, and today I'll be showing you how to build this nice little fairy kind of themed gazebo. So to make this gazebo, you'll need stone bricks, you'll need moss blocks, flowering azalea leaves, and also regular azalea leaves, some random flowers, chain, lantern, and fence posts of your choosing. I choose spruce. Um, I think it looks good in the swamp area, but it's up to your preference. Uh, so as you can see, I kind of made a little outline of a circle. That's going to be our base. To start, you're just going to put two of those there. And then stone bricks. Then on the side, you're going to want to go with two more staircases. And then you can just fill the outline. And sometimes you do that, or if you're me, you do that a lot. And then it's kind of up to you. I don't like to have an exit off the back, but you can also mirror it on this side and have there be a staircase on this side and not have your fence go all the way around. But that kind of comes down to preference. Okay, so now you just have your nice little space like that. Now you're going to want to go around with your fence posts, starting right here. So if you were going to do it open on the back side, you would just leave this here and make... You'd leave this open and then continue over here, but I like it closed, so we're just going to go all the way across. So now we are there. They look like that. So now you're just going to come here. And this part is uh, also kind of up to you on what you want to do. I'm going to grab my dirt because I'm dumb and not good at jumping. So you're going to put fence posts up on this spot and this spot. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five high. And you can actually kind of do both of them at the same time. And then you're going to do the same thing on this side. You're almost out of fence posts because you were dumb and you didn't come properly prepared. So five and five. I wish you guys could see my face right now. And five. You drop down. Realize you're not going to have enough fence posts. So you run to your little crafting table that for some reason is not right next to your current build. Then you realize you need more sticks. You realize you're much lower on materials than you thought you were. And you stress a little bit, but pretend that everything is fine. So then you're just going to do the same thing on the back side. And now you get to do the fun part. So. You're going to take your azalea leaves and your flowering azalea leaves and you're going to get up here and you're kind of going to just start to place your flower or your leaves and you kind of just randomly alternate between flowering and not flowering. The more random I've been told, the better it looks. If you want to do a certain pattern or anything, or even use different leaves, you don't have to use azalea leaves or anything. You could also use just all flowering azalea leaves, or just all azalea leaves, or like I said before, all of whatever you want to use. It doesn't have to be. But I think that this is pretty, so that's what I use. And you're kind of going to just fill out, like... A pyramidish type shape, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. You do want to, like, cover up the top of the posts, I feel like. So besides, like, covering up the posts, you kind of want to go, like, 
one back per layer, if that makes sense. You can kind of see it here, but you make like a little bit of a pyramid type shape. And another tip is on these inside pieces, you don't need to put flowering because nobody's going to see that. Okay, so now you've done that. That was an experience. So then you're going to kind of do like a draping. And you can do a little bit of mismatchy again, kind of make it look random. So now you're going to take your chain and I do about too long and kind of just not necessarily randomly place them, but kind of randomly place them also. So then for the moss and flowers, you're just going to break some blocks and put moss in their place. And you can put as little or as much as you want. On my other one, I put benches here. Um, we could still do benches, I guess. Mm, I think I'll just do a bench in the center this time, actually. So to make a bench, you're just gonna take stairs. And I think I'll make this like a double-sided bench on this this time. So since I put the bench in the middle, I think I'll add a little bit more moss. And then the last thing we're going to do is add a cute little walkway because we have extra stone, so why not? And there you have it. Cute little gazebo. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was a mess.